Hey guys, what's up? This is Jason the Redhead Henry, and today I am going to be showing you a kind of just a brief tutorial about After Effects. Uh, you can download a free trial version of After Effects at Adobe.com. Um, it is rather expensive if you're thinking about buying it, but uh, if you do, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing uh, today is just kind of talking about uh, what does what inside of After Effects. Um, importing your files, setting up your composition, and placing objects uh, on your timeline. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do when you open After Effects is go up to Composition, New Composition. Now, what I use for superhero mugs, I set my width at 1280 pixels and my height at 720 pixels. And you got to make sure that that's locked at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Uh, you want to have square pixels, frame rate 30. And for your time, my, I have mine set up at uh, 15 minutes because YouTube has, uh, 50, you're, you could upload 15 minute videos now. So I kind of just like to leave it out there in case, you know, I want to add any extra, like, you know, shots or anything like that, even though most of my videos are about, like, under five minutes. So once you've done all that, you can name your composition. I'm just going to call this Demo Movie and then just click OK. Okay, so what that did was it automatically set up your uh, your composition in your little composition screen. Okay, so just kind of going over what things do here. Down here you have your timeline, which is where you'll be placing all of your layers and everything like that. It's, it's similar to Flash if you're familiar with Flash. Um, over here you have your RAM preview. So if you ever want to preview out and see you know, uh, what it is that you're working on, you, you'd click this little button right here and it would build out a preview of your video and it would display it for you live uh, in your composition. Obviously over here you can got your effects and presets, you know, you can add different effects to uh, your layers such as like, you know, adjustment of colors, uh, you know, motion blur, things like that. Um, obviously, you know, you got your little text tools and, and things in here. Uh, up here you have your tool panel, you know, pretty basic, you know, you got your magnifying glass, rotator, uh, you can add shapes if you want, obviously the text tool, so you know, you type everything in and you want to change your text, just head over here. So I mean, it's pretty basic. Now what that did is once you put in your text, that created a new layer. And what you can do is, you know, you can mess with it, you can transform change the position, change the scale, and obviously you know you can do all that in your composition as well just by clicking and dragging. Okay so now uh, importing files. What you can do is you can hit control I or you can go up to file, import, import file. I just kinda set up a kind of a demo folder. It's gonna import all my images and all my audio so what that did is it brought in all of my pictures and audio that I recorded. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag out your picture onto your timeline. So now if you just hit S with this layer selected, you can scale it down if it's too big or you know you can scale it up. You can move it around. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm just going to set this up like that and I know the quality on this video looks pretty bad but just bear with me here okay so obviously how we set up our composition before it was 15 minutes so you can see here that it goes all the way up to 15 minutes now why would you want to have a layer that's you know a picture that's just 15 minutes long so you really gotta kinda zoom in go in there we're talking like frames now well maybe not that much just seconds Let's say, you know, Human Torch is the one who's talking in this uh, this shot right here. So I have some audio of Human Torch. So I like to put the audio underneath the, uh, the picture. And, you know, you can change the color of these two if you don't want it to be whatever. You just click, you know, yellow. But whatever works for you. And you just click this little drop down arrow here. And then for audio. And then waveform. And now with this... You know, you can adjust uh, the volume if you want it to be, you know, really loud. Obviously, you don't want to have it too loud, otherwise it sounds like crap. So I'm just going to kind of put this down at minus, uh, minus 2. 
Now, if you'll notice, it goes for about the first about 10 frames. It's kind of blank right here. So what I like to do is, you know, instead of having, you know, like nothing going on, uh, you gotta you gotta kind of cut this out of there. So what you can do is you can drag it and just sort of get rid of it like that, or you can hit Shift Control D, you know, backspace, whatever you want, and then you just sort of bring this up. So now instead of having that sort of gap, the audio starts automatically right here. So I'm just going to kind of mess around so you guys kind of see how I do this. Okay, so I just cut that layer out right there because, you know, that's where obviously he stops talking. Actually, I'm going to probably do it right here. So now if you want to RAM preview this, you just go up here to the little RAM preview button. Whoops. So you could see that the bar became green right here, meaning it rendered it all out. So, I mean, what you can do is just if you want to render certain sections of your, say, 15 minute video, you can pull this little bar here can pull it down like if you don't want to preview out your whole movie so you can if you want to preview say the last minute of your your film just set it up you know 14 15 you get the idea uh let's see what else oh yeah okay so now let's say you know you have your next shot coming up just drag your layer in and I put it on top that's what she said Scale this thing down. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Now, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be covering, you know, how you really get the stop motion to look good. Um, <clears throat> adding sort of like some visual elements, like such as uh, like a watermark. I have Redhead Henry in the lower right corner of all my videos. Um, and possibly like your intro and stuff like that and motion blur. So a lot of good things coming out in the next video. So I hope this uh, helped you guys out um, with After Effects, kind of just the basic rundown of it. And uh, yeah, just leave a comment if you got any questions or anything on this video. Just uh, let me know.